In this video, we are going to go over many of the features available to you while you are scanning with your Philips Lumify system. We're going to go ahead and start from the exam main screen. First hit Scan. Once you are actively scanning with your Lumify system, this is what you'll see. You have your ultrasound image in the middle, your depth indicator on the left in centimeters, and then your system information on the right-hand side of the image. On the ultrasound image itself, you'll also see your orientation marker, which corresponds with the great orientation marker on your transducer. The blue icon with the snowflake on it is your freeze control. When you freeze the image, you have other controls available to you. This is your Cine loop slider. It records the last few seconds of your exam and allows you to pick the ultrasound image you like best. If you want to capture that image, tap the camera icon to save the image. The beep lets you know that it has been saved. You can tap on the measure icon to bring up options for measuring. You can make up to four distance measurements or one ellipse with two distant measurements on one image. If you have reached the maximum measurements allowed on the image, you'll need to clear the measurements by tapping clear all. When you add an ellipse measurement, touch in the center of the ellipse to move the whole object. Touch on one side to adjust that size or to rotate that side of the object. You can also use two fingers to pinch and zoom or to change the shape of the measurement. For distance measurement, you can independently choose to move each of the ends of your measurement. You'll see the measurements indicated in blue in the top left of the ultrasound image. You can also annotate a frozen image. When you touch the icon for annotate, the keyboard comes up. Type your annotation, tap done or tap off of the keyboard onto the ultrasound image. Drag and drop that annotation anywhere you like on the ultrasound image. To delete the annotation, you can either tap on it again and hit the delete key on your keyboard, or you can long press on the annotation and hit delete annotation. Other important features are the full screen mode and the centerline control. The full screen and centerline controls are available regardless of whether or not the image is frozen. The centerline control allows you to place a centerline marker on your image. The centerline on your image corresponds with a center line on your transducer and can be useful for needle guidance procedures. In the lower right hand corner, you'll see the full screen icon. If you tap that, you'll see some of the controls disappear. This gives you the ability to use your device's screen to view the maximum ultrasound image. To get out of full screen, just simply tap the full screen icon or hit the back button if you're using an Android device. The most commonly used controls are the depth and gain. You adjust the depth and gain by simply scrolling up or down over the dial. Now let's review the color flow feature. You have two options for color flow, fast flow and slow flow. Generally, fast flow is optimized for arterial flow and slow flow is optimized for venous flow. When you tap one of those options, a color box will appear. Position the color box over the area of interest by touching inside the color box. The box will turn yellow and drag the box to the desired location. You can adjust the size of the color box by pinching or spreading your fingers inside the color box. Note, if you spread or pinch outside the color box, you zoom and unzoom the image. To adjust the angle of the color box, touch the dot on the bottom and drag it to the right or to the left. While you are in color flow, use gain to adjust the color gain. Scroll up to increase gain and scroll down to decrease gain. To get out of color, simply tap the color flow icon again. Now let's review the M mode feature. When you touch M mode, the M mode cursor will appear. Move the cursor to the desired location. The M mode trace will appear and the 2D display will be above the M mode trace. You can reposition the M mode cursor on the 2D image. To get out of M mode, simply press the M mode icon once more. Let's review the save loop option. The length of the video loop that is saved is set within the settings of your Lumify system. In this case, if I open my settings, the very top option is your loop duration. Right now, it is set to three seconds. That is the default. Loop length can be set from one second to 10 seconds. If during my exam, I want to save a loop, I can just tap the save loop icon. Once you hear the beep, that means your loop has been saved to your exam. The small arrow on the side is a page indicator. 
If you touch the arrow or if you slide the control panel, you'll see a secondary menu with the option to save image by tapping that icon. Hearing the beep means you've saved an image. On the power adjustment control, sliding down lowers the power and sliding up increases the power. If at any point during your exam you need to change transducers, just simply disconnect the existing transducer and connect the new one. You can adjust the exam preset at any time during an exam. Just tap the menu icon on the top left and select the new exam preset. During an exam, you can edit the patient information. It's very important to remember that once the exam is ended, you are no longer able to edit the patient information. If you don't tap the End Exam button, your exam will remain open and editable for 24 hours or for whatever duration you have set within your connectivity profile. Let's talk about the ability to calculate a fetal age. When you are using the OBGYN exam preset, OB fetal age calculations available. In this case, I'm using an S41 to access those calculations to go to the secondary page, either touch the page indicator arrow or swipe the display. Tapping your fetal age icon will initiate that process and the steps on the screen will guide you through that. In this case, it says freeze then measure. So, I freeze the image and tap the measurement that I want to look at, such as head circumference. The ellipse measuring tool will automatically pop up on the screen. I'll put that where I need that to be. I tap, confirm measurement, and then go through each of these measuring tools, confirming measurements after you've completed each one. At the end, you'll see all those measurements summarized. If you tap the green bar at the top of your control panel, you'll see all those measurements recorded. To get out of the fetal age calculation function, Simply, on your menu, swipe to the left or tap the chevron sign and then tap the fetal age control. Now you've learned how to use a system to perform an exam. It may be helpful now to review the videos dealing with connectivity and exporting so you can ensure your exam gets safely archived to the right location.